Hey there, just uh, trying out my new plastic Jesus, giving him a bit of a test drive on the old dashboard here to see what kind of an effect he has on my risk taking as a driver. In order to test the effects of God thoughts on risk taking, a team of Stanford researchers subjected 900 participants to an online survey. While some participants enjoyed a completely God free experience, others encountered the idea of God through written references or word scramble clues in the test. Then they were invited to take some risks, or at least the sort of risks you can take in an online survey. We're talking the likes of, hey, you can choose a version of this survey with a higher bonus payout, but you'll have to stare at a bright color that might damage your eyes. The results? The researchers found that participants who had been reminded of God prior to the choice took the riskier route 95.5% of the time versus 84.3% rate for those who made their choice without a God reminder. They also conducted a test involving clickable ads for two kinds of risky behavior, non-moral risks like skydiving and moral risks like, hey, learn how to bribe. Oh yeah, and for some of the participants, the ads mentioned God. I kid you not, one of the ads in the study said, quote, God knows what you're missing, find skydiving near you. As you might expect, ads that mention mentioned to God were more likely to result in a click if the content was free of moral or ethical concerns. I mean, after all, there's nothing in the Bible against skydiving, right? No, of course, this is just one study, and the researchers are quick to point out that it might fall apart among populations where the divine is uh, less of a protective force. Plus, the study does seem to hinge on more of a monotheistic deity instead of a rich polytheistic pantheon. But the results raise some interesting questions. While previous studies have approached the risk-taking God thoughts angle from the standpoint of self-destructive behavior, this one engages the sort of risk-taking behavior more commonly experienced in everyday life. The sort of everyday life where reminders of God are absolutely everywhere. Could all those dashboard Jesus icons result in riskier driving? Do statues of Ganesha in a yoga classroom result in overextension of your limbs? At any rate, these are just the latest findings on the topic of God thoughts and human behavior. In the past, studies have found that God thoughts can help believers reduce distress, cultivate cooperation, cope with romantic rejection, resist the urge to cheat on tests, and boost willpower, while uh, also decreasing personal goal motivation. Just remember to ask your doctor if belief in God is right for you before beginning treatment. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Consider the eclipse. It's just about the most mysterious celestial event possible for early humans to witness. So of course we attempted to explain them with mythological cosmology long before we had any real science to throw at the mystery. According to the Pew Forum, an estimated 2.18 billion people around the world identify as Christian and use some version of the Bible as the foundation for their faith. Buzz Aldrin brought communion wine and, uh, and wafers with him to the moon. Um, we've, uh, we've made sure that we have had uh, kosher food for our uh, astronauts on the uh, International Space Station.